Welcome, folks. This is Burning Metal. I am your host, Tom. Um, I'm going to do a little review tonight of this lovely Firefly VX. Uh, recently started playing guitar again, so give you guys a little bit of background about myself. I'm getting old as dirt, and I've been playing guitar on and off since I was about 13 years old. Uh, I... <laughs> step away you know things happen in life uh, hmm. get married have kids uh, things happen so uh, I haven't been playing guitar for about uh, at least 10 years probably 2012 13 was the last time I was really avidly playing on a regular basis and so flash forward to today I'm getting old <laughs> As you get old, things happen. You start to have some health issues and, well, you know, come to have to take some things into consideration, give up drinking the hooch. And uh, so in dealing with uh, not drinking and having to give that up, uh, picked up playing my guitar again, went down the old YouTube rabbit hole, started looking at, you know, gear, guitars, Started looking at some of these affordable options because, well, yeah, the price of everything in this day and age is getting a little too goddamn high. But I won't be the old man yelling at the clouds for you tonight because we have options in this day and age. Options I didn't have when I was growing up, just getting started playing. I think I got a Harmony out of a Montgomery Ward catalog huh, my parents bought me. And I think it was a hundred and some bucks, which, you know, a lot of money back in the late 80s. Uh, not that much, but enough, you know. And uh, that, that guitar was uh, something else, but it was enough to get started. But it was very, very poorly made. And uh, could have used it for uh, bow and arrow after about six months of playing and maybe putting on uh, <laughs> a pair of strings that were way too heavy for that weak little neck that was on that guitar but flash forward to today we have these fireflies which i was not aware of you know started watching some of these youtube reviews and looking them over and started looking at them so primarily these are available on guitars garden i think used to be available originally on amazon this specific model there uh ffbx explorer style um i actually got on amazon it was the only one available a few months back when i was looking at these there's actually a west creek that makes one as well with a set neck and looks pretty well but this one had the red binding and black hardware so uh definitely dug the look of this and you know it's got all of my lovely fingerprints over it so you can tell I've used it uh, rosewood fretboard got these nice uh, you know inlays are kind of big not the biggest fan of this style of inlay but I can live with it especially for the price considering as a $230 guitar uh, set neck nice slim profile to me this feels uh, really love this neck um definitely love the red binding the black dots i wish they would have just stuck with like some black dots on this or made these black i think that would have just looked a little bit more metal in my opinion so i did a couple silly little videos that are on this channel just little chug videos and uh I called this a chibson so i'm officially apologizing for that i think firefly this company is doing some really damn cool things uh bringing guitars to people at an affordable price i'm sure there's gear snobs and people out there that would laugh at this and put you down for having this but as i alluded to earlier back in the day you couldn't get a guitar like this uh especially at this price you 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 would spend much more to get a lot less so in part you know chinese manufacturing has improved their cnc machining and, and uh, 
automated processes that I think are making these things a lot better. They have these lovely ball steel, stainless steel frets. Really nice. As I said, this is a rosewood fingerboard. It was a little dry. First thing I did was pull the strings off of this, put on some DR9s. I think there were probably 10s on here. Um, I have not tweaked the neck or really got the intonation tweaked in either. Um, a little bit of buzz here and there, but I primarily play high gain metal with a lot of distortion, so it's not really an issue for me. Only problem with these uh, ball and frets is they can kind of roll over and get caught. It doesn't quite extend out to the end of the fretboard, but you get used to it. Um, love that dark blood red color very sexy that little gradient of black showing up there maple top so you know they seem to have matched this very well um and i'll take it for their word i think it's probably a real maple veneer top uh, mahogany body mahogany neck they're standard branded tuners which are too bad i haven't had an issue of keeping this in tune um there is a little bit of slippage in them so i probably changed these out for some grovers pickups in them aren't bad i don't really get that much microphonic uh, action going off of these so haven't even pulled off the back i don't know what kind of shielding is in here uh you know i think one of the only quirks I've had is the output jack tends to come loose but the way this cut is if I'm not careful setting it on my stand that'll kind of put pressure there so I think that's probably why that's been coming loose um, but I tightened it down really good and hasn't been giving me an issue so you know these Firefly guitars are pretty goddamn cool. I bought a Les Paul style model, what they're calling their SP, and uh, very impressed and happy with that. So, uh, two guitars I purchased. Now, that one I purchased on Guitars Garden, which is now, I suppose, their official site. I think they ship these out of California. So, you order one, you get it about a week, within a week or so. Not bad time at all. So, it's not coming from a slow boat from china and uh you know i'll just have to say to firefly the people that are the fine folks that are making this and bringing these here stateside for us uh i really appreciate what you've done here uh these are fun guitars uh affordable uh something that you can uh tinker with mod out i'm definitely probably going to change these tuners uh pickups really don't bother me at all. I don't buy into the myth that you need new hot pickups for every guitar. Um, I'd rather deal with that with, you know, you know boost, gain, pedals, distortion. Uh, I, yeah, pickups really don't impress me that much this day and age. I'm more impressed with uh, yeah, the sound you can produce. Well, a proper EQ, distortion pedal, gain, boost, uh, good cab, good speaker. That's what really matters if you ask me. But, you know, hey, I suck. <laughs> I went from being a sloppy drunk to now a sloppy guitarist. And all of you get to enjoy that. <laughs> Only been playing for, you know, probably about three, four months now uh, consistently. And, you know. Had to sober up and give up the booze, so that's been working well for me. And I'll probably get to this other one here, so uh, we'll plug this in, give you a little chug. If you want to hear clean sounds, you can go someplace else, because that ain't what we're about here. Even though I do, you know, play clean, and I've just been doing drop D and standard tunings. I've just been getting back into it, and... You know, just trying to fiddle around with some blues and some scales and some classic rock stuff along with the heavier stuff. Um, I don't think I'm quite softening in my old age, but I look at the state of, of metal today and, hey, there's a lot of talent out there and there's a lot of bands doing great things. But I think there's some elements that are missing that uh, I think maybe some people might be craving 
in the metal world. So, going forward, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do with this channel. Uh, and uh, we'll see, you know. It's burning metal, so we'll cover some guitars, some chugging, maybe some metal news. Uh, started this channel primarily reviewing knives, and I think, uh, I think this parallels very interestingly to the knife world so pocket knives you know your edc everyday carry i've always carried pocket knives and collected them over the past few years um a company called we knives has hit the american marketplace they are high-end chinese knives and then they teared off and offered a more affordable option called Civivi. And now I think they have uh, even a more affordable tier from that. Um, having a brain fart here, I forget. The Send Cut is the name of their budget line. So it, Chinese manufacturers came in, realized what was needed in the marketplace, listened to the people in the knife community, and started fulfilling what they wanted to do. And I... I really can see that Firefly is kind of doing the same thing. They're bringing a highly affordable option to the market with a lot of good features. And um, I think they're listening to what players want and uh, delivering on it. So, hey, uh, my hat's off to you, Firefly. And if you're a guitar snob or a gear snob, well... <laughs> Have fun wasting your money. With that said, I'm going to cut away, do a little bit of chugging on this so you can hear it. And uh, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. What would you want me to do with this? I need an outlet, something creative to do. Um, I'm an old asshole, highly opinionated, and uh, I'll just say whatever it is I think. So on that note, I hope you guys have a good one.